Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at question 2053, Kate's distinct string in an array. The way we'll be solving this problem is by using a hash map to keep a track of all of the strings that we have seen and the number of times that we've seen them. And once we have that list of the hash map basically, which gives us all of the strings and how many times we've seen them, we'll iterate through all the strings again. And anytime we've seen, uh, we see that it's only been seen one, we subtract k. And anytime when we hit k equals zero, it means that we've found the k uh, distinct string and we return that. Uh, it's a simple problem, so let's jump right in. So this is hash map of string integer map equals new hash map. We have a for loop string a in the array uh, map dot put a map dot get or default um, a r a and zero plus one. Once we have that, we go through the for loop again. So string a in r um, if map.get a equals one that means it is a distinct distinct string therefore we subtract k by one and once we have subtracted k by one if k is equal to zero that means we have reached the distinct string therefore we return uh, a right then and there if not we exit the for loop and then we return an empty string as required by the question. Awesome, let's try compiling this. The first few test cases are okay. Everything else is okay as well. Awesome, so let's talk about the space and the time complexity. The time complexity of the entire solution is of n. Since we are iterating through every single string in the array that's given to us, and the space complexity is also of n since we are using a hash map to keep a track of the strings and the number of times we've seen them in the array. Awesome, so that's how you solve this problem. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks so much and I'll see you folks soon. Peace.